Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some uh, Gilliam Hard Candies. These are old-fashioned candies. I have the cherry, the watermelon. Root beer and lemon. These were a dollar nine. One, uh, well, the cherry was a dollar nine. Roll it on. Okay, well, the watermelon for some reason is marked ninety-nine cents. I don't know why. They probably just put the wrong tag on it. But we found them at Tuesday morning. They are actually made in Mexico. Mm. Uh, so uh, they probably make other varieties, other flavors. And But these are the only four that we saw no, we at saw Tuesday it. morning. Yeah. Okay, so these are uh, cherry flavored. They Five pieces are 60 calories and there's eight servings in here. They're probably all the same calories, but they're written so small I can't read them. So there should be uh, 40 pieces. Five times eight is 40. Uh, 60, 60, 60. Yes, yeah, all the same. They're all 60 calories. So, let's see how big they are. Oh, oh they smell good. They, just, uh, they look like a traditional hard candy. Yes, yeah, so they, uh, they have like uh, like powder on them. Mm -hmm. Might be able to chew these. Maybe. I don't know. They're pretty hard. So once you get that sugar off, it's um. It's red. Like red. I like the flavor of the cherry, but it's not a strong cherry, is it? Not as strong as I was hoping from the smell. It reminds me of the cherry in a cough drop without that menthol flavor mm. behind it. But it's not as strong as like a lifesaver. Mm -mm. Nowhere near as strong as a lifesaver. No. I chewed mine. I'm not going to chew mine. You're not? Mm -mm. Well, I, I mean, think it's good. Mm -hmm. It's a good piece of hard candy to suck on. If you're taking a walk, put a piece of, piece of uh, candy in your mouth and take your walk or whatever, mm -hmm. I think it'd be good. Yeah, I like that. Just know, if you do want to chew it, you can. Yeah. Okay, this is... I just is, didn't want all that in my teeth. <laughs> I understand. Because it is hard candy and it Ooh, is in wow. my teeth right now. Okay, so this is watermelon. It's pink. It's not good. I don't know. I, I was expecting it to be green. I think because of the writing is green. Mmm. Mm. Basically the same color as the, as the cherry. It's a little lighter. Mm -hmm. The cherry's more red, that one's pink. Now the flavor of that's a little stronger. Not as strong as the um, um now see, like I like, or something. I like that better than the cherry. Well, too, because it has a stronger flavor. Mm -hmm. mm. And that is very, very good. Well I won't um I won't chew that one. But that is so good. Okay, the next one is root beer. My favorite flavor. I love flavor. I love root beer. Ooh, oh my gosh. Wow, that's so that smells that's, so that's good. That's gorilla. Oh. These are brown. It smells wonderful. These would be good to suck on during a meeting, too. Oh, yeah. The bad thing is during a meeting, whoever's next to you gets to hear them. The clink on your, your tongue. <laughs> That's the only thing. So you literally have to just stick it on your tongue or in the side of your cheek or something. Mm -hmm. Or between your tongue and the roof of your mm -hmm. mouth. Right in the middle. Because like those nice when things. you're sucking on them, you kind of want to move around a little. Yeah, clackety clack. And nobody wants to hear that. Mm. It's good. Mm. I like those. I love that. If you like the root beer barrels, mm. you would like that. It's basically the same thing. I don't know that that's any lighter. No, it's about the same. Yeah. Now, now sometimes the root beer barrels, if you eat a bunch of them, they start hurting your mouth. Um, because, well, I think any of these, if you ate a lot of them, just from having that one in the roof of my mouth for a little bit, it's like glass or something. I yeah. mean, it's, it's, um, it's so, very sharp so edges. yeah. Um, oh, wow. Okay. This could go either way. This could be either cleaner mm, smells kind of cleanery. or fresh. Honestly, it's not that strong. Mm -hmm. No, it's not like a lemon head or anything like that. It smells stronger than what it actually, the flavor. But I like it. Mm -hmm. It... 
I don't I, know what to do there. Coating. I'm wondering hmm. why you would choose, of course, why would you choose any of these flavors? Because you like them. I'm wondering, but root beer would actually smell good on your breath. Watermelon would smell good on your breath. With lemons? With, is it? No, no, I don't think these as breath mints. These are just something to occupy your mouth yeah. while you're sitting bored. I'm wondering if you if your throat was scratchy or something, no, if you would no. choose lemon, no? Um, no, it's just for flavor. These are the alternative to smoking. When you're bored and you're sitting somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> then you eat. Then you eat. <laughs> or a really good, they say if you're trying to quit smoking, you should do something to keep your mouth busy. Right. Chew gum. That's also like, why people say when they quit smoking, they're they're afraid they're going to gain weight. Yeah, but I always chewed like gum or something like that. It wasn't bad. Yeah. Gum hurts my jaw though. But this, these are these are what I consider meeting candies. I, t I take a couple of these for meetings and literally suck on during the meeting just to have something to do. <laughs> I wonder if they have like a licorice. I bet they do. Like um, an anise. Um, maybe. Um, or um, what's that? Cinnamon. Now? I bet they, they have, have cinnamon. cinnamon. You know they have cinnamon. Or like a spearmint or wintergreen or peppermint. I don't know if they something. have those at hard candy. I, I don't maybe. know. Uh, but they usually have that uh, whorehound. Yeah. Around here they do. Now I don't know if they have whorehound everywhere, but right. It's very These strong. are from Mexico, like so I don't know if they have. It's www.qcandy.com. The letter Q. The letter Q. Q. -K that's what it looks yeah. like to me. Well, I believe you. Uh, I would like I'd be able to read that. Uh, but I like these a lot. They are good. I personally would skip the cherry, which is surprising that I'm. Uh, for me that I'm saying that because normally I would choose a cherry. I like cherry quite a bit, but it's this particular cherry that I just would leave it. Um, which which one do, would you leave? Um, which one would I not care about eating? Yeah. The lemon, because I lemon. just don't like to eat lemon. And which time. one is your favorite? Ooh, between root beer and watermelon. Those are like, my two favorites too. I think root beer is my very favorite. Root beer is good. I think it would get old after a while. If I were to interchange it between both back and forth kind of. Between the root beer and the, yeah, and the watermelon. Yeah, then I would enjoy it better. Yeah. I, I bet they have orange too. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe lime yeah. or apple. They're definitely gray. worth buying. I mean, yes, you can I buy like these, them. You, the thing is you can buy the same hard candies at like Walmart for like a dollar. Yeah. So these are about the same. Yeah. I mean, they're not any better or worse. But just know if you're in Tuesday morning and you see these. Yeah, try them out. They're very good. Thing. Yeah, they're nice candies. And the actual, like the shapes of these better than like the barrels because the barrels do have some new sharp edges. These mm -hmm. are a nice round piece of candy. And they're bigger. And they're... The, those root beer barrels are bigger than those. Oh yeah, root beer barrels are bigger. I thought yeah. you were saying these are bigger. No, no root bigger. beer barrels are bigger than these, and you're right that because they're barrel shaped, which is cool, uh, but they do have sharp edges. Yeah. yeah. And they hurt your mouth. Yeah. So I'm gonna have a picture for you at the end, um, one coated and one uncoated, so you can <laughs> see how they look. And thanks for watching.